Today is Wednesday, April 10th, and I'm currently finishing up my second to last week of law school classes ever, which is insane to even think about. I say it in every single video. I cannot believe that I'm almost done with law school. I'm going to be sitting for the bar exam in July and beginning my career as an attorney. What a dream come true. So if you're new here, first of all, I'm so glad you're here. My name is Kate and I am finishing up my last year of law school at the University of Kentucky Rosenberg College of Law. I started blogging my law school experience around spring semester of my first year of law school. I really started blogging just because I wanted to show my experience as a woman entering the legal field as an Appalachian entering the legal field and I just kind of wanted to show people that there's no like set way that you have to be to be an attorney or be a lawyer. Good lawyers come in all shapes and forms and sizes and life experiences and colors and all of that. So that's really what I've wanted to portray through my channel. I will say I have been slacking just a little bit in vlogging this last year of law school and I definitely want to talk more about that with you all later in the video. But for now, I kind of just want to share what's been going on as of late, like big ideas, big things that have been happening in my life. In my last vlog, I think I shared with you guys that I got an offer for an estate planning attorney position in Maryland and I took the job. So I'm very excited. I did not plan on moving, to be honest. Um, I live in Lexington, Kentucky. Obviously, that's where my school is and I've loved it here, but I just had a feeling that it would be really good for me to get out of my comfort zone and take the opportunity to live somewhere different, especially while I'm young and able to do so. I'm very excited to take you guys along on that journey and obviously the bar exam studying content as well. I'm very excited to be working with Barbary throughout the bar exam process. They are amazing. I used their free NPRE course to study for the NPRE and it was amazing. So I highly recommend you guys check them out. I'll be using them for bar prep as well and I have a link down below if you're a 3L and you still need to get bar prep materials make sure you check them out. I'm getting a little ahead of myself the bar exam is not till July so I need to I need to reel it in a little bit like I said today is April 10th it's a Wednesday. Next week is my last week of class and then we'll have exams for two weeks after that so it's officially final exam season given i'm only gonna have three like actual final exams i guess you could say because my other class this semester was my judicial externship and i actually have a couple things that i need to wrap up for that today so i won't be studying for any regular classes today i'm just going to focus on drafting some things for the judge that I work under for my externship. I think this will be my last week of the externship, which makes me so sad, but at the same time, I'm so glad that I decided to take the externship. Literally, if you were a law student or any kind of student, really, the more real life experience you can get and opportunities outside of just your typical classroom lecture style learning, make sure you do it because I learned more during this externship than probably several of my other classes combined, which is not a slight against lectures or anything like that. It's just that real life experience is literally invaluable. So very thankful that I've had the opportunity to work with my judge and I am sad that it's going to be ending, but at the same time, I'll be relieved to kind of have these two documents wrapped up and signed, sealed, and delivered, if you will. That way I can actually start focusing on studying for my real final exams. It's 3 p.m. now. I went to the coffee shop this morning and worked on a couple things, got my nails done. I'm not like crazy about the color. It looked darker on the little swatch thing, but it's it's okay. It's just fine. Um, and so that's kind of what the first part of my day consisted of. Now I'm going to light a candle. I'm going to make some tea, get in the zone and wrap up these documents 
for my judge and I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you so much for watching this far. Okay, ignore all of this going on. I just showered and I did a lot of heavy skincare just because I felt like my skin really needed it. I have pimple patches on. Um, I have a couple breakouts and I do have an event tomorrow. We have our 3L reception and they're going to do superlatives and everybody's going to get dressed up. They're doing Olive Garden catering, which I am already dreaming about. But since it's an event and I will likely be taking a lot of pictures, I just wanted to like really show some extra love to my skin because I feel like my stress levels have just been up here and I've noticed that I've been touching my face a lot, which is really bad. So I think that's why I'm breaking out. But anyway, like I said, I just crawled into bed. I finished one of the documents that I need to draft for my externship. I have one more left to get done and I really want to go ahead and get it done tomorrow. That way when I go to court on Friday, I can talk with my judge's staff attorney about any last minute edits or anything like that. Tomorrow's going to be a busy day because I need to get that done and then I also have class. I'll have business associations at 10 and then I'll have international law and then I will have patent law. So long day, done with class around 5 and then I believe the 3L reception starts at like 7 or so. But that's what tomorrow looks like. After I finished up that first document that I needed to draft, after I finished up my work for the day, I went to Kroger because I realized that I really did not feel like cooking and I just needed a couple of random things anyway. So made a little Kroger run and I got this like frozen meal. I usually try to avoid frozen meals because they tend to have really bad ingredients, a lot of sodium and things like that. And I have been trying to be a bit more health conscious, but I saw this one that looked really good and I just scanned it with the Yuka app and it actually seemed pretty healthy, reasonably healthy for a frozen meal. So I just picked that up threw it in the microwave, sat down and watched Sex in the City. That's what I've been watching recently. And now I am cozy in bed. I've been reading this book. This is what it looks like. I'll probably finish it like by the weekend. I'm honestly not sure how you pronounce the title. Ter termush, termush. Please don't make fun of me in the comments, but it's kind of hard to explain and I'm only like 20, 30 pages in, so I'm just gonna read the back. The only luxury is safety. An unnamed disaster has destroyed the world outside, but within the walls of the seaside resort called Termush, a select group of guests continues to live life undisturbed for now. Ooh. As time passes, signs of the cataclysm begin to bleed into their gilded ideal. Before long, their peaceful days have turned into an agonizing wait for things to fall apart. Sven Holmes' prose is opalescent, untroubled on the surface, but shot through with brilliant inner agitation. Termush is a lost classic of Scandinavian literature and its message is as shockingly apt as it was 50 years ago. Humanity cannot insulate itself from the calamity it has wreaked upon the world. Inevitably, the apocalypse finds you. Now, this book is good. I enjoy the writing. It's translated. Um, the author was Danish, so it is translated, but I don't find that to affect my experience as a reader at all. Once I finish it, I'll be able to give you guys some more like thorough thoughts, but I like it so far. I just finished The Midnight Library. I forget the author's name, but I believe his first name is like Matt, Matthew or something like that, but it was very good if you struggle with mental health or if you just kind of want to know how to like expand your thinking or your tool set surrounding mental health, I highly recommend it. I've cried a couple of times. That was my last read. I'm hoping to finish this 
by the weekend and then I don't know what I'm gonna read after this one I'm gonna read a chapter or two and then try to get some rest but I will see you guys tomorrow from my last class of the day showered and now it's time to get ready for the 3l reception i'm very excited i love stuff like this i love end of the year events i love graduation events so i'm just super excited there's going to be olive garden i've been thinking about it all day my hair is sort of already curled i do need to touch it up clearly but it's rainy today so i kind of expect that my hair is not going to cooperate we're just going to hope for the best but i do just want to do a little get ready with me and we can talk about life updates and kind of how i've been feeling this is basically going to be like my diary portion of the video so if you're not interested you can always skip ahead i'm gonna do my standard signature going out look somebody had requested like a tutorial for this look specifically in an older video i'm not gonna like talk through the steps while i do this because like i said i want to talk life updates but hopefully just watching will kind of give you an idea of how i do this specific makeup look it's very easy it looks good on literally anyone any eye color any skin tone anything so hopefully you guys find it entertaining to watch while i vent so y'all know i have not been as active on here as i normally am i have always taken youtube very very seriously and kind of tried to treat it like a job almost in that i was rarely late on uploading i have always been very proud of that i still am but honestly this past probably year ish especially this semester i have just been in the most melancholy mood and i think that it's important that i share that with you all because like i said at the beginning of the video i want to share law school my law school experience in the most like accurate true representation possible and i'm normally such a happy-go-lucky person i'm normally very much so like on top of my to-do list and i like to feel like i have it all together but i've just been kind of feeling like a hermit almost i feel like i've not been a good student this semester especially i've missed a lot of class it feels like and when i'm in class it feels like my mind wanders i've definitely bombed like two or three cold calls i probably didn't actually bomb them but to me i was just like oh my god i just am not being a good student and it sucks that it has been that way because this is my last semester and i want to like make the most of it and do the best that i can and i can honestly say i have been doing the best that i can but it feels like i've just had several things weighing me down and i think i talked about this in a previous video but honestly the news has really gotten me down i think a lot of people feel this way so i don't want to like play the victim i am very blessed i'm taken care of and i really don't have anything to complain about but as someone who vlogs and posts her life online it can feel very trivial to get on here and be like "Ooh, like get ready with me for a law school event when there are wars going on there is hum humanitarian crises going on and i think i'm still honestly struggling with that i'm still kind of working through it but that's one thing and then another thing that i think has been 
really stressing me out is the idea of change. Even before I got my job in Maryland, I obviously knew my life was gonna change drastically after school because naturally um, it's different to be in school your entire life and then you think about not being in school, not having those connections or seeing people every day. My friend group personally is kind of dispersing everywhere. So I think that aspect of it has kind of made me a little bit sad. Excited, yes, but sad. It's just very bittersweet. Before I got my job, I was like, I don't know what my future even looks like because I don't know exactly what kind of job I'm going to have. I don't know what kind of job I necessarily want. I don't want to put myself in a box and only apply for certain jobs and there's just a lot of questions that has definitely been part of it as well and I think it's important um, to note that if you are planning on going to law school the legal field can take you anywhere it can take you wide and far which is a good thing but it can also take you wide and far which is scary okay the camera keeps unfocusing but I think that's good um so yeah, I think just the general state of the world coupled with the fact that I'm in a very serious era of change has kind of freaked me out a little bit and that's honestly why I have not been as active on here. But building this community and going back and forth with you all, helping you all with your decisions to go to law school really brings me so much joy and now that I kind of feel like I've gotten a grip back on my personal life and my personal things going on, I feel hopeful that I can vlog more. So I know I've said this like 20 times in this video, but I will be moving to Maryland to be an estate planning attorney it's kind of crazy because i like applied for the kentucky bar exam i like paid for it and all this stuff and now i'm going to be working in maryland after graduation so i have to take their bar exam so luckily their deadline is not till like may 20th or something so i have plenty of time to sign up for it and whatnot all that being said my law firm is a little bit north of Baltimore. So if you're from the area or you're just familiar with the area, I would really appreciate recommendations for restaurants, areas to live, areas to avoid. Literally, it's gonna become my personality trait that I'm moving to the Northeast. So I'm open to any and all recommendations. I really wanna try all the all the restaurants, all the little cute areas, day trips, all of that fun stuff. Allison and I are actually going to go on a little trip up there in May. And so I'm excited to like check out the area and it'll be nice to kind of show her where I'm going to be living. I'm going to miss my family so much. But the thing about the law firm that I'm going to be working at is um, it seems that they really prioritize work-life balance. So I should have plenty of time off to be able to fly to Knoxville and get picked up by my family. Knoxville is closer to where they live. So it should be pretty convenient to go see them. My mamma, who you guys know, she's like my very best friend. She's retiring at the end of April, which is so exciting. So hopefully she'll have more free time and more availability to come visit me as well. I'm just hoping that I can make friends and find community up there. I I did have the option to stay here. Um, there was another firm here that I had kind of been talking to and they gave me an offer and it was like the hardest decision of my life to decide which job to go to because first of all, the subject matter, the inherent work itself would have been drastically different. And then also just the lifestyle, like living in Baltimore, 
compared to Lexington, Kentucky is starkly different. So I had a lot to think about, but at the end of the day, I was like, I'm young, I'm healthy as far as I know, and I have the opportunity to move to a place where I might not have the opportunity to move to in the future. So that's honestly what it came down to, is just I wanted to explore the opportunity up there. And I'm very excited. I'm proud of myself for, for taking the leap. I will be moving in June and then I'll take the bar exam up there in Annapolis actually. Um, so I'll be vlogging the bar exam content, the moving content, all of that. I am very excited to finally be able to have like a nicer, more upgraded apartment. You guys have been subjected to my jokes about my little 1930s era apartment for far too long now, but I am sad to leave this apartment. I've lived here for all of law school. It has its flaws, as you guys know, but I've had so many memories in here and I'm, I'm just gonna be sad to leave. The, the rent is also very cheap, so I'll be sad about leaving that part of it. Nonetheless, I'm excited for a new chapter and hopefully a nicer apartment. Okay, I'm running a little bit short on time. You guys know I'm just always rushing to get ready, but I need to pick my friend up in like 20 minutes. Really, all I have left to do is my eyes part of my makeup, so I'm just gonna like speed through that real quick. to head out because I am running very late but this is the outfit and uh, I'm not putting my shoes on yet because I just have to go pick up my buddy but um, this is the look the key with the eye makeup look is to literally just line your entire eye in brown or black liner smudge it out do some brown eyeshadow and then add another layer of eyeliner around your eye and um, this is the result so should be a good night.